We've got the Sanyong Muso and a Honda Izzy. Let's see how easy it is to load a mower into the back of this pickle. Start your engines. Time to load. First thing you have to do is use this little key to unlatch. That way, I can drop this. It's not soft opening, so be careful. But it is strong, you could sit on there. You can even rest your load on there. Well, it's not gonna fit in height-wise, but it's a Honda Rizzi, so it folds. But, uh, ideally get two people to do this, but it is doable. Hey. Double. Just gives you an idea of the size. Always remember to secure loads, especially if it's got wheels. There's four tethering points in the back of this, so that makes it nice and easy. One clever thing with the moose though is, this is rich, so it will hold it. We're all secure, so we're ready to go. Make sure you shut the tailgate tightly. And then slam this. Just double check the key is in your pocket and not on the actual tailgate. Right, let's roll. As we expected with the Muso, you can't even tell the lawnmower's in the back. It's been nice and secure all the way. I've already untethered it. We'll just drop the tailgate now and pull her out. Use the ridges to guide the wheels out and then swing around. As you can see, the tailgate is supporting it very well. Tailgate. And there we go. Now we'll go and get some gravel and see how much it will carry. We're at home base, let's get some gravel. See how many bags we can get in the back and let's see how much money we've got and how far the budget goes. Home base. Oh. Hmm. Do we go for decorative aggregate? River pebbles or Cotswold stone. Mm. Mix them for colour. Mix and match. Mix them for colour. <laughs> Let's go and load the moose out. Six of each. Now honestly you're going to be able to get a lot more gravel in the Sanyong Muso, but this is a nice start so let's just see how much of the bed it actually covers. We got 12 bags in there. Realistically, I can get four times that amount because it will carry over a ton on the bed alone. Time for a recharge at Morrison's Cafe. My turn to drive now. Your driving position is great, you've got fantastic visibility. You have softer suspension with it being a pickup. It's seamless gear changing with the six speed auto. It's a very smooth ride, it's a fantastic pickup. It can tow up to three and a half ton and still have a ton on the bed as well. Well, as you can see earlier on, we put Ben into indentured servitude and got him to load all of the gravel. And for the fact that I've got 12 bags of gravel in the back, I can't tell it's there. It's very smooth. 
making no difference to the changing of gear or the driving. I'm now sat in the back of the pickup. It's nice and roomy. I've got decent headroom. I've got decent legroom as well. You can't tell the gravel is in the back. You couldn't tell with the lawnmower and you couldn't tell with the car trailer. The one you could tell with was the car trailer with the Mercedes on, but that makes perfect sense, but it didn't really make that much difference to the driving experience. The Musso carrying 12 bags of gravel of around 25 kilos each is like me carrying a small shopping bag to the shop. It just does it seamlessly. No difference in the delivery of power, no difference in the gearbox, doesn't feel weighted and drives exactly the same as it would when it's empty. And in terms of economy, we're getting just over 30 miles to the gallon. In regards to fuel economy, you'll get between 30 and 40 when you've not got anything that's being towed or carried in the bed. Even with 12 bags of gravel in the back, we can still launch like that. As for economy, when we were towing with a car trailer and the car, we were getting anything from 25 to 26. Now, I don't expect to get much more because let's face it, the car trailer is going to be 750 kilos and I think the Mercedes was 1400 kilos. Didn't make much difference to the driving either. Had to drop gears a little more and there was a little less power, but could quite easily get up to motorway speeds. Now with the bed with 12 bags of gravel or the lawnmower, you just don't even notice it's there and you'll get anything from 30 to 40 to the gallon dependent on how you drive. We're at our destination. Now, because we've got lots of cars on the drive, I'm gonna to have to reverse down, which demonstrates how good our reversing camera is. Let's get down. Look at that. Yeah, clear. Another thing to note, especially if you're driving around mud, anything like that, the door sills are covered by the doors. So, no more muddy trousers. Doesn't really matter to me and my Dunlop wellies, but nevertheless, nice. You need the key when it's unlocked. Yeah, you push it here. There's a handle in there. There's a little pushy button there. Oh! Annabelle's just pointed out to me, there's a little handle in here. I didn't need to keep using the key. Oh well, you live and learn. Something new every day. There we go. If you've noticed, everything is covered in reinforced plastic. You don't damage your paint. Final bag. Okay, I have made it a bit messy. The beauty of this is you can just easily jet wash it out and it will just drain. Well done, Ben. And there you have it, a very capable, versatile pickup. We've towed a car trailer with a car on the back. We've carried a Honda Izzy to the repair shop. And now we've just put in 12 bags of gravel. And this can carry one ton on the bed. What more do you need? <laughs>